warm up, we will do a little hip movement action. So we make sure that we warm up the hip and uh, we're ready to dance all those figures what I'm gonna show you and actually review what we worked on before. So uh, let's warm up, let's put the feet apart and we're gonna shift away from foot to foot and we're gonna make sure that we loosen up the hip, okay? We don't wanna injure ourselves, so we're gonna nicely warm up with the hip rotation, okay? So what we do, we shift the weight from foot to foot and we soften the knee, okay? So every time when I shift the weight to a certain leg, I soften that knee, okay? That's very important. So we go one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. All right, so now when we do that, let's make sure that when we rotate the hip, we are finishing the movement all the way back, okay? So let me turn around and let's, let me show you how it looks from behind. So when we rotate, the hip goes all the way back, yeah, but the hip, not the body. So make sure that you don't rotate the body with it, all right? We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we go forward. One, two, no, just kidding. All right, so always the hip starts the movement diagonal forward and then it rotates backwards, okay? That's how we create this nice number eight or officially called Cuban motion. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing just twice. Okay, so we're gonna count one and two over one leg. All right, so we go one and two and 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 one and two one and two and one and two. Actually, I see myself in the mirror right there when I'm doing it. So I'm checking myself at the same time, if I do it correct. So, uh, do you still have this rod, what we talked about last time? This is a very good tool to not to move the upper body. So if you have it somewhere near, grab it, and we are going to try with the rod, okay? So, okay, now I see that you have it. Good. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one more time. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and faster. One, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay? Now, don't forget to do the bounce action, what we talked about on the previous lesson, when we said that our knees are softening and straightening back to back. So what it means that when we count one and two, always when there's an end, we straighten the knee. Okay, so basically we recover and we end up in a straight leg. Okay, so just a quick uh, review. We go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. Okay, now we don't need this one right now, so you can put it away. Uh, and let me show you a new step today, which is called the stationary samba step. Okay, so already the name says it all, that we're not gonna really move anywhere else. So it's perfect uh, figure to practice at home. Okay, so you don't end up leaving your living room or kitchen or, yes, yeah, so you can stay in the same stationary spot. All right, so, uh, Let's start like this. I'm gonna turn around and shift the weight to the left foot, okay? So our weight is 100% over the left foot. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the weight over the right foot, one, and now we send the left leg backwards, we kick it out, and we do a replacing action, what we learned in a previous lesson when we shift the weight, and two, okay? So one more time. Weight on the left foot, and we go, one, and two, and again, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and again, shift the weight, back, replace, shift the weight, back, replace, 
shift the weight, back replace, shift the weight, back replace. Now let me turn this way, okay? We do the same thing so you just can see better from side. So we go one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. One more time from this angle. And one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Perfect. I saw the last one. Very good. Very good. So, uh, what is very important, uh, a little bit more for advanced students, just a little bit more detail, uh, basically for everybody. When we do the back step, make sure that you slide the foot a little bit backwards. So that's like a slip action. So we do a slip, but so we don't end up moving all the time backwards, right? And then basically we, it's not a stationary step anymore, but we keep traveling, so we don't want that. So as much you move the foot, that's how much you're gonna move the new step, the, the new leg forward, okay? So this way you end up staying in the same spot, all right? So let's say I see a crack here on the floor. I slide the leg, the foot, but now I have to move slightly forward so not end up in the same spot, okay? So that's how I don't move at all. All right, so we go one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. And again, one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. For those students and dancers who are learning it for the very first time, the very basic thing I want you to do is the weight shift. That's like a number one thing, okay? And then all the details, what I talked about now, will come later, okay? So the number one thing is to shift the weight so we don't end up doing just pointing, okay? This is not good, because basically we're just pointing the foot, yeah? It means that we didn't shift the weight, we didn't replace it, okay? So what is very important, as we did the forward and back step in the previous lesson, right now I'm a little bit jumping, but as you remember, we did step, replace, step, replace, okay? That's the same thing, so you go replace, yeah? So you see I'm shifting the weight from foot to foot, okay? So that was the stationary samba step. Now let me show you another step, okay? Are you still with me? So, here we go. We go um, forward and then we can try also backwards the same step. So we're going to start with the right foot forward, one and two, and now we travel sideways right away. So we go side, replace. Okay? Let's try one more time. With the right foot forward, and one and two, three and four. Okay? Now we can start with the right foot backwards, okay? So we go backwards, one and two, three and four. So you see, doesn't matter if I go forward or backwards, the main thing is that I shift the weight. That's how you're gonna dance out the beat of the samba, okay? So if I clap it out, now we're gonna be clapping, okay? So what we do, we go one, pam, pam. One, 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 right? That's very important that you shift the weight. And again, now let's start backwards with the right foot. And one, 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 side, one, one. And again, backwards with the right foot. And back, replace, side, replace. Good. Now we're gonna connect that mini routine what we started the last time. So hope you practiced it and everything is clear. And we're gonna add the stationary samba step what we just learned today to the beginning of it, all right? So we're gonna start with it. So let me show you how we're gonna start. So bring the weight over the left foot and we start with shifting. So we go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven 
and eight. Now we're gonna go sideways. That's the side basic samba, what we already learned last time. All right, so we go one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Now we are going to go backwards with the right foot, what we just learned. But let me go a little bit forward so I'm not out of the camera. And we go back, replace, side, replace. Now, and here comes the last figure, again what we learned last time, which was the whisk. When we do the same thing, just sideways, but we send the leg backwards to the fifth position. So we go side, replace, side, back replace, side, back replace. Okay? I hope I didn't lose you earlier. Okay? So let's do one more time from the very beginning. I would ask you uh, to ask some questions or comments, but I don't see any of the comments right now. So uh, I'll read them after the lesson. All right? So let's start again from the very beginning. Our weight is on the left foot and we shift to the right, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Sideways. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Now we go backwards. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, whisk, five, uh, six, seven, and eight, and from the very beginning. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Sideways. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, backwards. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Okay, okie doke. That's a little mini combo, mini routine, what you can practice at home uh, when you play a samba music, right? And by the time when we come back to the studio, then you will know already some basic steps in samba and you can continue with your teacher from here. Okay, so let's see one more time. I'm checking actually, okay? So we are going to, you see me? So I'm kind of checking if I'm in the camera. Five, six, seven, eight. What? Just kidding. Five, six, seven, eight. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Now backwards. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. And beginning. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, let me mention a couple things or a couple details again. As we talked about on the previous lesson, that before every uh, step, we have to go up on the ball of the foot and prepare the new step, the new foot, okay? What, what that means, it means that if we go sideways, we go and. So you see, I go up on the ball of the foot and then I shift the weight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight okay so as you can see there's a very strong accent and a very uh there is really a speed to the foot and the and the leg extension when you prepare it and then you shift the weight that's going to be the same thing when we do our stationary new step in samba right so if you go one I really want to make sure that I kick this leg backwards as fast as I can. So that's a good workout for the leg. One, ta -ta. One uh, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now just make sure that you don't kick 
too high because that's going to be something else. So let's do one more time. Now, here's the challenge. Let's see who can do it faster. Okay? And I'm going to check all of you when you come back to the lesson. So let's practice. And one, a two, and three, a four, and five, a six, seven, and eight. And again, one, a two, and three, a four, and five, a six, and seven, and eight. One, a two, and three, a four, five, a six, seven, and eight. Now, what I forgot to mention, actually, um, when you send the leg backwards, two things. I mentioned the first mistake when I said not shifting weight at all, right? That's how it would look. One, a two. You see, I kind of just like tap the foot, but there's no weight on it. Now, uh, so that's not good. What we also don't want, we also don't want to create a rock step, so we don't want to go with all the way back and forth, because with the fast music, there is no time for that, okay? So what we do, we go one, we kick the leg out, and it's just a partial weight, just that amount, so you can replace the weight again, okay? So you put slight weight over the back leg, so you can replace the weight to the front leg, okay? So two things, no pointing, and no also rocking, okay? That will be heavy. So one more time, let me show you from this angle. And one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, and eight. One, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, and eight. Okay? And of course, when we are here, we have the front leg soft, the front knee. Now, before we do the switching, we need to recover from that knee, right? That's the same thing how we started the samba, that when we do the bounce, we have to recover from the knee, right? So the same thing applies here. So when we're here, we first need to recover, and then we switch the leg, okay? What would happen if we don't switch? It's still possible, but it's gonna look again a little bit heavy because we stay in uh, our soft knee. So it's gonna look heavy because both our knees will be soft, okay? So not this one. First we need to go up, so let's practice that. So we go up and back, and up and back, and up and back, and up and back, and up and back. And make sure you rotate the head to the phone and back, to the camera, forward, to the camera, forward. I'm just kidding. And down and up down and up. Now let's try with the other leg as well because I feel like my thighs are getting tired. So we do with the left foot now. And up and down. 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 Up. Good. Very good. I can tell. And so let's combine both weight shifting. So now we're going to do like this. And we do again from the beginning. So we go one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Backwards. One, a two, three, a four, whisk, five and six, seven, and eight. Now, even though we end up in this position where our foot is backwards, it's still fine because we can still close them and then shift and start from the very, very beginning, okay? Now, before we finish, let's review again the Samba movement, okay? That's very important. And now we're actually gonna use our Tool. So I'll wait for everybody to get it and then we can start. Now how about this? How about if we do the stationary samba with this tool here and we're gonna I'm gonna turn sideways to the camera. Yeah, I'll, I'll mention a couple uh, details as well. So if you place it in front and we start. 
One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Now, what is very important is when you send the hip, when you rotate the hip and you send the leg backwards, make sure that you don't do this movement. So don't go opposite because then we end up doing this movement. Yeah? So we don't want to end up diagonal that way. We still want to maintain the upper body straight. So when you send the leg back, you rotate the hip back, and you're in this position, I want you to feel that you're arching a little bit. Okay, so instead of being here, I want you to feel that you're lifting your chest up, and now that you're keeping a straight position. Yeah, so don't follow the line of the foot, of the leg, but make sure that you keep the body straight. So now we go. One, the same thing here, not this, but straight up, yeah? So you need to feel now the muscles in the back that they're holding the posture. And one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, okay? And last but not least, we need to talk about the hip rotation, right? Just like we talked about the hip rotation here, or when we do the the whisk, right, the previous lesson, and also the samba uh, basic. Now we need to talk about how we rotate the hip when we do the stationary. So as I mentioned before, we rotate the hip out backwards, yeah? So we are in this position. So now, as you can see, my belt, the clip on the belt is facing forward, but the moment I rotate the hip to a certain direction, it's gonna follow that side of the hip, right? So in this case, it's my right side of the hip turning the clip of the belt to the right. Now the same thing will be if I, if I go to the left. So my left foot is going back, my clip is rotating to the left. And one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Okay, now, when you practice it, make sure that you shift the weight, you create the bounce no matter what, because as I said before, the more steps you're gonna learn, most of them, there are a couple uh, exceptions, uh, will require the bounce. So if you learn it now at the very beginning through basic and fundamental figures, it's gonna be just easier for you uh, long term okay in the future now that was one thing weight shifting and make sure that you keep the hip moving right so as we said number eight or Cuban motion right that's the rotation yeah and this is also a good workout just to move the body yeah I hope you like the video I posted uh, on a magic um, website I found it very funny actually hilarious um, so hopefully you're you're with me dancing and not watching my our videos uh, from the couch okay so uh, that was all for today guys let me put this away and hope you liked it hope you like our videos and I hope they're very helpful to you until we can come back and dance uh, personally so thank you for joining me Hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Uh, stay safe and take care, okay? Bye-bye. See you next time.